Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the tin set by Mel Chemistry, we will grow a tin dendrite. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the tin dendrite experiment, you will need liquid soap, sodium hydrogen sulfate solution, tin chloride, a red cap, a tip, a petri dish, a battery holder, and crocodile clip wires. Prepare four AAA batteries in advance. Open the bottle of tin chloride and pour one bottle of sodium hydrogen sulfate solution into it. Securely insert the tip and close the bottle using the red cap. As an alternative, you can use the white cap from the bottle of sodium hydrogen sulfate solution. Shake the bottle well to mix the contents. Then pour everything into the Petri dish. Add two droplets of liquid soap to make the liquid spread evenly across the bottom of the Petri dish. When liquid soap is added, it reduces the surface tension of the solution. In other words, it acts as a surface active agent, causing the solution to spread. Now attach the crocodile clip wires to opposing sides of the Petri dish so that the clips are touching the solution. Take the battery holder with the batteries and connect the red crocodile clip to the red wire of the holder. Do the same with the black wires. After a while, you will see tin dendrite growing from the black clip. When we connect the wires, we close the electric circuit and electric current begins to run through it. The red wire becomes positively charged, while the black one becomes negatively charged, which means that it has an excess of electrons. The excessive electrons from the black wire go to the tin ions in the solution, reducing them to metallic tin which grows in the Petri dish in the form of beautiful dendrites. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.